Hey everybody, it's me again. Hey. This is my mama. Her Hello. name is Dorsey. D-O-R-C-Y. How old are you? 64. 64. And as you can tell, we are both sitting on the sofa, mm -hmm. and I am very large compared to her because <laughs> she's short. Well, she's tall. <laughs> I'm tall and she's short. I did not get my height from her. <laughs> so, I wrote down questions that you guys answered. I mean, asked. So, I'm doing the long-awaited mama Q&A. Yeah. So, um, one of you guys asked what was, like, my birth stats. We don't know. We, she's, it's been a long time. So, she doesn't remember. Yeah. But I she do know was, she wasn't a big baby. I was in the six pound something range, mm -hmm. but long. And I was born on May twenty second, nineteen eighty. And you were how old? Twenty um, three. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. twenty three, mm -hmm. and I was born at three oh eight p.m. Mm -hmm. I can remember that from a birth certificate. I didn't go look anything else up. So, um, another question was, was April a crib sleeper or did I sleep in the bed with my mama? Yeah, she slept in a, a bassinet beside my bed. I laid in the bed and put my hand over on her and then, and uh, where I could watch after her and it kept her quiet too and she just laid there and slept. Have I ever been quiet? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, you have. You've been quiet. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then somebody wanted to know, and this was a good question, did we go to church and what denomination? Yeah, we went to church. We went to a Baptist church. We've always went to Baptist. And, yep, we're all Southern Baptists. Mm -hmm, yeah, we went to Baptist church. and, and um, I was baptized when I was 10 years old. Mm-hmm. She was baptized when she was 10 years old. But I've rededicated twice since then. That's right. Uh -huh. Last time being the night of my diagnosis. That's and right. That's I've right. never been happier, even with cancer. Yeah. That's what everybody says. That yeah. How can I be so happy? Yeah, it made a big difference in her life. It changed her overlook over cancer that that uh, she's not scared anymore because she knows that she's going to be all right. So. Either way, I'll be fine. That's right. So... Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody asked me, um, what was my favorite subject in school? What do you think my favorite subject in school was? Mm -hmm. Well, really, I don't know. You was pretty smart in everything. Pretty smart? <laughs> well, real smart. I was smart. very smart. Yeah, you were smart. Yeah. It, it was science. Yeah. Science, chemistry, all that kind of stuff. I, I, I really loved yeah. science. Yeah, she was always pretty smart. She made A's and B's, and she done real good. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, somebody wanted to know if I played sports. I did not play sports. No. I am not coordinated. Um, however, from fifth grade, I started beginner band, and I played trombone. And the only reason... She put me playing trombone, my band director, was because I was the only one, I was 5'9 in the fifth grade, and I was the only one that my arm would go all the way down the slide <laughs> to the B flat note. And my trombone came, because we didn't have money, mm -hmm. it was $50 at, the, at a uh, pawn, pawn shop, shop mm -hmm. in Childersburg, Alabama. Yeah. It was beat up. Mm -hmm. But I played that thing, and I was first chair every year. I beat seniors out in the seventh grade. Um, and then all the honor bands that I went to, University of Alabama, University of Alabama at UAB, um, Jacksonville State University, uh, Auburn University, I would always be in the top three. Mm -hmm. And I was usually one of maybe two or three girls that were there. But I was the only female at school um, that played trombone. So, um, mm -hmm. I don't have it anymore. I donated it. But... You took care of it, though. Kept it shined up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I put okay. that brasso on it. Cleaned mm -hmm. that stuff up. Yeah. It, it but I was very good. I could write music. I could transpose music. 
I could also play, you know, some. I wasn't as good as I was with my instrument, but I could play clarinet, a little bit of flute, um, trumpet, alto saxophone, um, and French horn. Um, never enough to play them on the field, but I could write could and I could listen and write music by ear, like for different instruments. And so that's one of the things that I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, somebody asked, why am I not, and these are in no weird, like, they're just as they came in. Somebody asked, why am I not in church? Well, COVID, obviously. Cancer, obviously. And I don't live in the country anymore. All the churches here are gigantic. Um, nobody knows anybody. And it would be the best place for me to find possibly a boyfriend if they have a, you know, singles group. But right now I have to focus on health. Mm -hmm. So we always I, like small churches. We, we, I mean, maybe 25 people on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And my Country mama, church. my mama sang. And, and me choir. and my sister sang together little specials, and we were always in plays. And yeah, they was in plays together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did a, a sock hop one year, the 50s. We had poodle skirts. Mm -hmm. It was so cute. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder where my poodle skirt ever went to. I don't know. I had it one time, and it was hung in the closet. But that was a long, long, a long time, time ago. I ain't no telling now. What is my favorite sport? Your favorite sport? I don't know. You like um, you like Alabama football. That is my favorite sport. Alabama football. Alabama football. Roll Tide. Mm -hmm. Roll All right. Tide. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> somebody wanted to know what was the favorite thing that some of my favorite things that my mom cooked. Um, I loved when she would make um pot roast with potatoes. potatoes and carrots in it, but I wouldn't eat the carrots. Love them now. Wouldn't eat them then, of course. Um, I always liked when we had chicken, any kind of chicken. Um, she makes the best cornbread and those cat head <laughs> biscuits that are about that big. Good we would biscuits. be running to the bus and she didn't, she was a homemaker. So, we um, had breakfast on our way to school. Mm -hmm. If we didn't get to come in there and eat, she'd be handing it to us in a napkin, mm -hmm. running out the door. Mm -hmm. And it'd be a, and it'd be sausage on one of the big cat head biscuits, and everybody on the bus would be hungry. <laughs> and I'd be like, you ain't getting my biscuit. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, okay, um, she's going to tell you quickly about my beautiful scar right here. <laughs> so at 41 and 61, uh -huh. this happened Still before bad. I was even two years old. Yeah. What happened was we lived in a little house and I was in the bedroom one day and I was in there making the bed. Well, April was a small and everything. She had just started learning to walk and she decided she wanted to come in there where I was at. She comes through all right. She come across the foyer and come into the bedroom and walk and come running. running through there wide open. And we had a thick bed, you know, at the foot of the bed was real thick. And here she come and run into the foot of the bed and uh, just fell out in the floor. Knocked me out. Now it knocked her out and blood going everywhere. And and uh, so her daddy was gone and, and about that time he pulled up and we put her in the car, took her to the doctor, and uh, the doctor was a country doctor, and uh, he he uh, sewed her head up. And with no anesthesia. With no anesthesia. And uh, he sewed her head up and everything, but that's what happened. She fell What did I do while they were sewing my head up? 
you didn't even cry. You just laid there sweating. You and, said I had tears coming uh, down. Oh, uh, yeah. She had tears coming down her eyes, but she wasn't crying out loud like you would think. She was just laying there. I've know? always been brave, mm -hmm. I guess. Just sweat <laughs> popping off on her head, you know. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's about, she's a nervous wreck anyway, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that probably about put her in the ground. It did. Yeah. So, okay. Um, let's see. All right, uh, did I get good grades in school? We answered that one. Mm -hmm. um, she did. Was I musical? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what was my favorite cartoons when I was a kid? Um, You'll have to answer that one. You had yeah, all, all I, of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, when I was, I'm trying to scoot this way because I look so big compared to her. But anyway, oh, yeah. um, I used to like to watch um, Mr. Rogers, even though that's not really a cartoon, but um, Reading Rainbow on PBS, public public television. And then before school in the morning, we watched the Smurfs. Mm -hmm. We watched um, She-Ra. Mm -hmm. I watched He-Man. Um, and, yeah, that was... I watched um, um, Sesame Street. Um, my favorite character was Big Bird. And <laughs> then on like regular kind of TV, I was a huge fan of Punky Brewster. I had two pairs of Punky Brewster shoes. Mm -hmm. One pair wore out and I grew out of them and my grandmother got me another pair. I loved my Punky Brewster shoes. Um, with slouch socks because I'm giving my age away. But anyway, um, <laughs> let's see. Um, did you like Saved by the Bell? I don't remember. Uh, that yeah, that? yeah. Saved by the Bell. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I remember that. I can't even. I mean, there's so it many. It still comes on. Yeah. Yeah, I used to watch Golden Girls. Yeah, Golden Girls. <laughs> we yeah. used. To, I used to watch. Um, uh. When my stepdad would work late, we would watch Love Boat. Love Boat, yeah. I'd watch Love Boat, and I was probably about, we were living in children, five years old. Yeah, I was in that kindergarten. was strange for about five years old watching Love Boat. I watched Love did, Boat. Yeah. I don't know for the other one. We watched some other show, too, waiting on him to get home from work. But, yeah, I don't know. But we used to watch Bonanza, mm -hmm. and... um. What's that other one, the the country one? There's Raw High, there's Bonanza, there's Gunsmoke. The Rifleman. Rifleman, yeah. Uh, these are like what I watched with them. Mm -hmm. um, Hee Haw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hee Haw, yeah. <laughs> Dukes of Hazzard. Mm -hmm. um, I could probably go on. I love TV. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't even remember this myself, but they wanted to know when I was a child, what I wanted to be when I grew up. Did I ever talk about it? I don't remember anything that you wanted to be growing up. You never did. You never did say all you want to do is play stuff like you uh, checking people out at the grocery store. I wanted to work at a grocery store when I was a kid. Yeah, she would get up under the, her grandmother's cabinets and get their canned stuff out, not like she was checking out. And I wasn't even a year old. Mm -hmm. Playing cash register, yeah. She said I could line up all of her green beans, corn, whatever, in her pantry. And have it sectioned out. And I wasn't mm -hmm. a year old. Mm -hmm. And she said, my grandmother said, that's how I knew you were going to be so smart. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so I guess I was just matching the cans, I guess, at that point. Um, let's see. What was my favorite Oh, I answered that one. Favorite things to do when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, did I have a teen hangout spot? No. Mm -mm. It would be the band room mm -hmm. at school because I wasn't allowed mm -mm. to date. Mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed to go and do things because, you know, teenagers get in trouble. Well, and I was trying to make we were we had a strict day. family when it came to boys. That's right. And. My stepdad would have no part of that. No. Um, but, um, 
you know, I, I had a lot of fun band trips. Uh, when you get on the bus and it's dark on the way home, thing, you know, people, anyway, we had band trips. <laughs> yeah, yeah be a lot of stuff going on. Nobody on the band that. bus because <laughs> nobody could see. <laughs> anyway, no, I wasn't bad. I didn't do anything bad. I hope not. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Worst thing I ever did as a kid. <laughs> oh, I remembered these myself. She'll have to tell you this. Number one, my sister is one year younger than me to the day. I'm giant. She's short. <laughs> she could ride in the seat of the buggy, but I had to walk with my hand on the buggy because I was as tall as the buggy, mm -hmm. and I couldn't fit in that seat because mm -hmm. um, my legs were too long. And she was mocking me while my mother was unloading groceries. <laughs> and, like, you know, ha, 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 I can <laughs> sit in the seat and you have to stand there. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I just took the trunk and just slammed it on her fingers because her hand was... On the tr didn't break nothing, Aww. didn't break nothing, didn't deform her, but I got a spanking from my mama in the parking lot, mm -hmm. and then and when my stepdad got home, got he you. finished me off. So yeah, yeah, that was a bad one. Mm -hmm. And the only one that was equally as bad is my poor grandmother. She's a nervous wreck, just like this one. Mm -hmm. We get it honest, mm -hmm. and she was deathly afraid of snakes oh yeah and i had a rubber snake and i we always had a bird uh bath in the front yard because my we all like the birds and so there was water in it and i told my grandmother to go look in the bird bath at the water and she threw things in the air and ran across the yard and and they didn't know why at first and then one of them went out there and saw it, and Trouble yeah, was on then, wasn't it? yeah, there was a butt whooping going on then. <laughs> and even though my grandmother was like, "Don't whip her," she was just playing. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, my grandmother just never wanted me to get a whipping, but mm -hmm. but I deserved it. I did. Um, what is my favorite color? Mm, I don't even know what your favorite color is. Anymore? Black and blue. Yeah, but I, I often know it's black. It's blue. Got, it's always black. been blue, but I've always liked black. Mm -hmm. And these people are going to start this car behind me. Yeah, I hear a car cranking. It's an Altima, and they have it sounding like a weed eater. But anyway, um, <laughs> we're almost done. Um... What was my favorite music as a teenager? Everything you hated? Yeah, that old, uh, your daddy used to call it bumping music. Yeah, like rap. Yeah, yeah, rap music. Yeah. Listen to that call. Rap. Uh-huh. Um, um, when, mm -hmm. when I was younger, it was like New Kids on the Block. That was like my first, like. Mm -hmm. Big crush was New Kids on the Block. Yeah, you like them. I had their poster. I love me some New Kids on the Block. Mm -hmm. And, um, but mostly in high school, it was like rap and or hip hop. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I still like some country like Shania Twain and, um, I don't know anybody else I can remember, but, um, were you, well, you liked Reba McIntyre, too. I liked Reba McIntyre, uh, I did. Because you and your friend, you know, down the road, but... Uh, uh, yeah, my best friend's name uh -huh. was April, uh -huh. and uh, she thought she was Reba McIntyre. Uh -huh. um, needless to say, she is not, and uh -huh. wasn't, and didn't never sound that way. Um, but it was fun. Um... And then, who is my favorite bands now? Um, I like, um, I like country rap. Um, Christian music. I like Christian music. I've gotten way more into that and mm -hmm. out of the 
um, you know, head banging um, rock music. Um, mm -hmm. I like um, uh, like I, I like some country like Luke Bryan, um, Coffee Anderson, um, and like uh, Rascal Flats. I've always liked them. And, um, I guess for, um, more rock music, but not filthy, is Evanescence. Her and I are, like, a year apart in age where we basically, I grew up listening to her growing up. <laughs> and so, I've been listening to them since I was right out of high school. And when they face, first came out, and I know all their stuff by heart, and I sing it in karaoke all the time. In my living room by myself. but <laughs> Or in the shower. But, um, but, yeah, that looks like all the questions that I had jotted down before they came to clean my apartment. Mm -hmm. So, but again, this is my mama. Her name yeah. is Dorsey. Nice to meet you. It's a very different name. Mm -hmm. um, people in church used to call her Darkus. Yeah, Dorothy or Dot. Or Dot, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't. It's D-O-R-C-Y. Mm -hmm. And we both have the same middle name, mm -hmm. Yvette, mm -hmm. Y-V-E-T-T-E. Mm -hmm. But in the South, it's Yvette. Yeah. That's what everybody says, and That's it drives me crazy. That's why I'm already listed, yeah. That's the way you was raised. Mm -hmm. I, when I found out the true way to say it, I was mad when somebody called me different. But anyway... That's enough for tonight. They've got to go get something to eat. She's been cleaning. And I'll try to get this uploaded. All right. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Love you guys, family. Mwah.